until at last I threw down my enemy and smote his ruin upon the mountain top. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Folks, I have done it. I've, we've done it. Now, uh, there's a there's a new build that you can use to, to get Rey to beat Jedi Master Kenobi and Cat, and it is super cheap. It is a really, really nice counter, and it's, uh, it's relative, like I said, it's pretty cheap. It doesn't cost you Cat, it doesn't cost you General Skywalker or Kiedi Mundi. It does take Jedi Revan, Jedi Knight Luke, etc., but to beat the best team, I think this is a pretty good trade, and it's pretty dang consistent. We've tested it in my guild and everything, so we're going to talk about modding, we're going to talk about what things to do. There's a lot of mechanics at play, as you you might imagine for a pretty tough counter like this but let's first I just want to remind you guys if you want to support the channel for free all you have to do is hit that thumbs up button leave a comment in the comments area we're trying to mount the algorithm it's that's a group effort group mountings are better than solo mountings and we've got to do it guys so uh, you know if you if you just want to type the word algo you can type whatever you want type something awesome and uh, you know just just interact it, it's cool we've we've got starting to get a pretty good community here as well and uh, that that i guess <laughs> i guess i'll just ask for subs too if well while we're at it guys it would be really awesome if we could get to 9k subs before the year was out i would be so excited uh, so please hit that sub button even if you plan on never watching me again would really appreciate that that being said let's get to the game i'll show you the modding and then i'll show you a couple videos of how we beat ray with or how we beat kenobi with a pretty cheap ray team as you'll see we're gaming the system a little bit that's what we do best let's do it to it Whoa, I'm not surprised. Madness. Not surprised that we're in the game. All right, guys, we've got a lot of relic levels here and everything, but uh, that's that's going to be expected if we're going to be countering another really high relic team uh, that's, you know, arena level. Obviously, arena is going to go away here pretty soon, but we have a full, we have the full array of... I don't know, I wanted to use a, the pun array with array, and I just totally blinked. So, there you go. You guys do what you will with it. So, Ray with her... Uh, this modding is actually pretty good, guys. I I'm, I don't mean to brag. I It is it is a project that I've been working on. It's not the very best Ray. My buddy Hens is Ray puts mine to shame. But, this is a pretty good one. So, at Relic 8, we have 200k-ish health. And that's the thing that's really tough. You don't want to fixate on health. You want an offense ray. You don't want to fixate too much on speed, though. You probably want right around 100 extra speed. Maybe a little less is fine, but but the main thing is you need a lot of damage. You want offense ray because she's going to be doing her ultimate attack. And it's that ultimate's not going to do that much if she doesn't have a high physical offense. So something around 11.5 is probably the bare minimum that you're going to need for this counter, at least against a respectable Jedi, general, general Jedi Knight Kenobi. Because this is like my third take of this video, because I was originally going to do Sith Eternal with this as well. The video turned too long, so we're doing another shoot, but my voice is starting to give out, so please... Just bear with me. Give me a little bit of grace. I would appreciate it. Don't have as much energy either, which some may argue I don't have much energy anyway. So uh, that being said, guys, get your health as much as you can. Uh, like this, this really does help your team survive quite a bit. Uh, the more health you have, you're passing around your lifeblood. Really important stat, but this is the one to neglect if you have to neglect one. You need high offense and then health. We'll do, a, we'll do a video on modding Galactic Legends here pretty soon, actually, as well. But, until then, we have Grandmaster Yoda. Now, I have him modded the same way, and it, it, he's the same way in the videos, because I just recorded the videos themselves, the, the actual attacks. But, Grandmaster Yoda, just, uh, I don't have him modded to be 
fast, like to work well against a Kenobi team. I just don't because Kenobi it doesn't allow turn meter gain uh, shenanigans. Like you can do, you can do his master stroke, which gets all the buffs because he gets a bonus turn after that. But all of the other things get stopped. Like his battle meditation turn meter gain is stopped. Ataru turn meter gain is stopped. But at the same time, I just I like to have him with slower mods just because he. I mean, this isn't like the slowest, but it, it's relatively slow for my level at least. And I, I put him as slow with slow speeds because he can usually, on the comps that he's normally in, he's gaining a lot of turn meter. And in this case, he's he's still flexible and it still works. If you wanted to have mod him for this counter specifically, I would recommend getting him significantly faster just so he can start going before some of these other characters so that he can get foresight on everyone and all that but the counter i'm going to show you guys has him pretty dang slow just to show you that modding on him isn't as important as the role of punching bag which is what he's going to be doing so we have jedi knight luke as well he is also not well modded for this because whereas yoda is modded for offense and so he can actually do some damage Yoda's not going to do that much, uh, he's not going to do that much swinging. Luke is going to be doing swinging, and he doesn't actually do any crits against a Kenobi team, as you might expect, but he is modded for crit chance and crit damage, so I think he does, I think Luke probably should just have an offense set, frankly, but uh, I'm, I'm being stubborn, I'm just keeping these old set, this old set on until we get, I can build another one. Kind of. So we've got, you know, 243 speed. It's not, it's not much, frankly. And then crit damage. And all, I mean, you guys can see the stats. Jolie, this is very important, folks. You need to get him lots of tenacity and a crit avoid arrow because of his unique. You guys can read the unique. I've talked about this a lot of times, but he gains crit avoid based off of how much tenacity he has. So I have. 100% extra tenacity, he gains another 100% from his kit, and then I also have a crit avoid arrow, which means that he is not going to be crit by anyone unless they have an enormous amount of crit chance, and that is very important because you're going to be facing General Skywalkers who can increase cooldowns at base every time he does a crit, and Jolie needs to be able to revive when he needs to revive. Jedi Revan, he's at Relic 7. Oh yeah, Jolie was 5, so you don't even really even need him that high of relics. He's probably fine there. Jedi Revan is wonderful at 7, just because you gain extra health, and you want him to be as resilient as possible. All of these mods, or at least these bottom 3, this corner, or, sorry, the, let's see, the circle. I know, this, I know the shapes, guys, don't worry. We have the circle, cross, and triangle. They're all going to be protection, and then speed everywhere. So... Lots of protection, if you can, on Revan, and I don't know, I'm wondering now if health would be better for him, just because he has a way higher base health, even when I'm not even really trying for it. We'll look into that, but he wants to be survivable. Protection, he's not married to protection, he just wants protection and speed. I probably just can't afford speed mods, frankly, uh, or speed mods, speed set mods with health. So, that being said, let's go do the counters, shall we? Let's do it. Do it. All right, so we're gonna walk through it kind of slow the first time, and then the second time we'll go through it a little bit quicker. Remember, this is against this is against a guy who's really good arena mods. Both of the both of the opponents that we're facing actually have really good arena mods. So initially they hit Yoda. This is why we want Yoda here. If we had General Skywalker in place of Yoda, they would target General Skywalker. If we had Kiadi Mundi here in instead of either of them, then they would target Jedi Revan, which we do not want. So we want either General Skywalker here or Yoda. Yoda does just fine. Now we want to put lifeblood on someone, and you'd think. Oh well, you, let's help Yoda survive a little bit, but that doesn't make that doesn't actually work because in a minute, Cat is just going to go ham on Yoda and kill him. So instead, we'll put him on the next frag, put it on the next fragile guy, which is Revan. And uh, so now, now they're gonna go for Revan, but it, as long as Jolie gets a turn, we can. We can actually just revive. So what would I what I did there with Revan? I passed the turn to Luke. He stunned everyone before they could all take turns. And then Revan is getting another turn, and we want to we want to mark Cat because we can't get past we can't get past that Gener General Kenobi uh, who is taunting there. So Jolie eventually takes a turn. Probably one more speed on him if you 
can. I mean, you just can't mod every character well. Now, we could go our ult, but that ult isn't going to do much against five super jacked, loaded, high relic characters. And so, instead, we do Whirlwind on Cat, because uh, the priority is to take Cat out. Now, General Kenobi's... Uh, savior has already triggered. We couldn't really tell, but 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 it did trigger. And now we take out Cat, so we're good to go now. Uh, to, and and now their offense, their health is way reduced. Now we can actually kind of breathe. Now we have some breathing room. As I said, uh, we can breathe. So <laughs> as soon as we can pop our ult, we will. And and then we're, we'll kind of reset from there. So uh, you know. Target whoever you want. I would actually, you can see how Snips has full turn meter. It's it's a really tricky thing. Maybe I should have just waited to mark someone because Snips is going to go pretty soon. And as long as she takes two turns, she uh, then the mark disappears. So watch turn meter, guys. I think that was an ill-advised marking, in fact. Because she's just about to take her second turn after being marked. And then, obviously, we're going to have to hit Kenobi. Now we have Jet Grandmaster Yoda... Uh, who revived just now from the savior from Jedi Revan. And we actually have a lot of layers of protection here. It's it's pretty nice. We have we have Jedi or we have Ray's bonus protection. We have her damage immunity. We have her ultimate and then uh, Jedi Revan also provide Jedi Revan and Grandmaster Yoda both provide different things such as Grandmaster Yoda has his foresight that he can give everyone, and we have Savior from Jedi Revan. So lots of lots of different areas of protection here. We just have to slowly, over time, apply whirlwinds where we can, keep our guys revived where we can, do the AoE, take out stupid General Skywalker. How dare he mess with us? And now Kenobi's on his own. Keep in mind that we're trying to we're trying to not time out. Now this is that's the biggest risk here, guys. The, in all my testing, I think I've done about 15 attempts at this point, and I've never lost on this, but I've come close to timing out. And as you can see, like sometimes you don't get the greatest banners. You just you just casually slew our poor old Grandmaster Yoda, and that just happens. That, that happens. So. Uh, Alright, let's let's get the next video on here, and one thing to keep in mind that I didn't point out in this fight, I think maybe I did it more in, in the second one anyways. We're gonna go up full speed, not gonna pause it at all here, but, what, oh yeah, so, <laughs> I was trying to get rid of that little chat thing at the bottom here, and it interrupted us watching them pummeling Grandmaster Yoda. So, lifeblood on Revan, Grandmaster Yoda dies, and then pass the turn to Luke, and Luke stuns everyone. After that, we get a mark cat, and then the thing to keep in mind is, uh, I mean, if, if Jolie had been faster, he'd have been able to revive Grandmaster Yoda, and uh, and then you could we could have called him to assist, and he, he could have done a basic. And the reason we want to do that basic on Jolie is because every time he does a basic, it incre or decreases his cooldowns so that he can revive the next time. Because as you guys saw previously, Yoda dies sometimes. I think in this one, actually, we have two Jedi that die at the same time. <laughs> Spoiler alert. But once again, we're not popping our ult. We're, we're going to have ult discipline in order to have uh, in order to kill cat because if we don't if we don't take cat out then there's we don't have breathing room we, we can't make this work and th this is a different opponent i think this is actually a better modded opponent than my previous counter but uh, one way or another we got our ultimate going again i marked cat or snips at the wrong time when she had loaded turn meter so th this was a mistake you guys can learn from it if you like and um, otherwise, just notice every time that Joe Lee gets a turn, I sometimes if he does if he has if he's only got one turn cooldown left on his revive, then I'll call someone to assist. But otherwise, if he's got a bunch of turns remaining for his revive, then I always just use a basic in order to make it so that he can revive again. So yeah, so once again, we're gonna I'll try to take out. Kenobi, they killed, they killed Revan here as well, so we're, we're kind of, kind of in a spicy situation, spicy, dicey, whatever, but, but, but we can revive everyone, because Jolie is so overpowered in the right circumstances, and, 
yeah, we can go into our ult, everyone's protected, everyone's happy and safe, and maybe not so secret. <laughs> they're, they're certainly safe. I wouldn't say they're secret. Maybe Yoda is. If he gets stealth, he can, he can be safe. But uh, pick off Kenobi. I think maybe it's just better. Just kill Kenobi. Maybe that's just better. Mark him and just, just accept the inevitable. Now, uh, a wrinkle did appear here. He put the damage immunity on General Skywalker, so I would rather have just taken Skywalker out, but we can't at this point. Well, we can now, but we couldn't for a minute, so may as well hit Kenobi for a little bit. And, yeah, we're, we're, we're cruising now. We only have one minute remaining, though, and we have to be careful because Kenobi's getting close to being able to pop his ult, and if he does that, then he's going to heal his health and protection, and with only... 40 with only 50 minutes to go it could be a pretty dicey thing trying to actually get him all the way down so even with our ult it's going to be a little bit tricky and he, he does heal himself a little bit but ray's able to ultimate and take him out and call it good so there it is folks i hope you find much use from this counter this is a really important counter i think this is this is one that i, I guess i should have given credit i, I saw bit dynasty doing a, a counter with this it team except to use general skywalker on it and i was like oh maybe we could so we're gonna try that we're gonna try then we'll put cam in there and like work our way down and then i tried yoda and yoda's perfect because they still pummel yoda and you're good to go so huge props to bit dynasty for his arena climb using general skywalker and then we just kind of derived it from there and i think grandmaster yoda is a perfect fit he's kind of a leftover jedi at this point sometimes and kind of sad to see that but i'm gonna let you guys go thank you all so much for watching don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already or sub or whatever gonna be keep doing double daily content until gac starts so once again thank you all so much for watching and remember that in all things Zareth prevails.